Want to make sure your retirement savings are on track? Here's five strategies that every Canadian needs to know. Let's jump into it. The very first strategy is an RRSP, a Registered Retirement Savings Plan. And what that is, is a savings vehicle triggered for retirement. Now, when you put money into an RRSP while you're working, you get a tax deduction, meaning that let's say you make $50,000 a year and you put $5,000 into your RRSP. The way the government sees it is that you made 45,000. You only pay tax on 45,000. Your gross income, 50,000, minus your RRSP, it's a deduction, thus you only pay tax on 45,000, meaning the $5,000 that you put into your RRSP grows tax deferred until you pull it out in retirement. The whole idea with an RRSP is you're putting money in while you're working in a higher tax bracket, pulling it out in retirement in a lower tax bracket. Now there's a handful of you watching this video that will actually fall into a higher tax bracket in retirement than your current working years. Now that's rare and for most of you that's not the case. So that means that an RSP does make sense for the majority, probably 95 to 99% of you watching this video. Now we have separate videos on an RSP, how it works, the limits, how much you can put in there, how to take it out, how it benefits you for retirement. Check out that video and really educate yourself around a retirement savings plan because the RRSP is by far the number one tool that Canadians use and that you should use to save for your retirement in a very efficient manner. Before we jump into number two, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, join the community, hit subscribe. We do two brand new videos every week on this channel around tax, retirement, and estate planning for Canadians. Strategy number two is your pension plan or maybe a group RRSP at work. And I understand that a defined benefit pension plan is very different than a group RSP or a defined contribution plan, but I'm going to lump them into one in this category. And the one is make sure you're taking advantage of any work retirement savings vehicle that you have available to you. Now, if you have a defined benefit pension, you typically work for the government or maybe a big corporation, and that is a great tool that you have to pay into. You have no option. Make sure you understand how it works. Maximize it. If you've maybe taking some time off. Can you buy that time back? How does that work? You know, where's that break even point? Make sure you understand the benefits of that plan. Maybe if you retire before 55, you can take out as a commuter value. Maybe you can get, you know, health and dental benefits if you work all the way till 60. Every defined benefit plan is different. So understand how yours works and the nuances of it. Now, if you're on the other side of the coin where it's a defined contribution pension plan, meaning that we define how much we contribute, but not how much we get out later. That's the more common type of plan or maybe a group RSP. Group RSPs typically have some sort of matching, meaning that your company will give you 5% as long as you put in 5%, or maybe you only have to put in 2% to get the 5%. Again, if your work has any type of retirement savings plan, this needs to be a strategy that you're employing. So many people we come across are not maxing out their group work plan. If you have any type of savings at work, make sure you understand how it works and make sure you're maximizing it. We all want to make more money, yet many of you are not taking free money on the table that your work's offering you through some sort of group or matching RSP plan. And I get it. You're going to likely have to put in some of your paycheck to get some more from them. But find a way to carve out that money. Maybe you're saving at the bank or your financial institution that you're already working with. Turn off that tap and turn on your savings tap at work so you get that free matching from your employer. Again, understand if there's anything available to you. A lot of you have stuff available and you don't even know it. You haven't asked a question. Make sure you ask that question. Talk to your HR department. If you're at a small company, ask them if they can start something. Again, we have a very small company. We have 10 employees at Parallel Wealth and we have a group RSP. We don't have a matching plan. We just contribute for our employees because we love them and we think they're great. But again, it may be a matching thing. If you're at a small company, ask them to get something started. It's a very low cost and most small companies are starting to offer these things. The third strategy you need to employ for really good retirement savings, make sure you can retire one day in a great spot, is to utilize your TFSA, your tax-free savings account. Now again, remember, it's not a savings account. We've done many videos on that. There's a lot of information on, out there on that. It's a tax-free investing account. And it's one way that you can grow your money absolutely tax-free for the rest of your life. You can do that in your tax-free savings account and you can do that in your primary residence in Canada. Outside of that, it's really tough to get tax-free growth. 
So make sure you're utilizing your tax-free savings account to your benefit. Now, a lot of people take too little risk or no risk in their tax-free savings account. So everything grows tax-free, but we're getting 1% in a savings account. Well, it kind of defeats the purpose. On the other side of the coin though, a lot of you are taking way too much risk because you think, well, if I hit a home run, it's all tax-free. And what happens is you strike out and you've lost that contribution. So my suggestion for you on a strategy to use your TFSA in a really good way is thinking about trying to hit doubles and triples. Don't hit singles, don't hit home runs. Slow, steady, consistent growth over time with good quality investments. That's the best way to grow a tax-free savings account. So as you plan for retirement and utilize your tax-free savings account to get there, think about doubles and triples, not singles and home runs. That'll help you guide your TFSA in the direction it should be guided to. The fourth strategy to effectively save for retirement is to make sure you utilize your primary residence. Again, your primary residence or your main residence is tax-free here in Canada. Any growth on there is tax-free when you sell it. So for a lot of you, you're thinking, well, okay, Adam, I, I don't move much and I may never use the equity in my home, which is totally fine. But if you're somebody watching this video that's maximized your RSP, you've maximized your TFSA account and you have a non-registered investment, Maybe it's time to upsize your principal residence. Again, that grows tax-free. So if you have money sitting in a non-registered account, it's being taxed every single year, it's not very efficient that way. Yes, it's money and it's growing for you, but it's taxed fairly heavily. Maybe you have time to shelter that in your primary residence. Maybe you're upsizing your house, not because you need a bigger or more expensive home, but because now you have a bigger asset that's continuing to grow and being sheltered on a tax-free basis. Maybe you want to downsize in retirement. A lot of our clients downsize. Again, when you sell that home, that's going to be tax-free money coming into you. Now, be careful because you may have had a good run on your investments. Maybe you live in Vancouver like myself or maybe in Toronto or an area where your property's gone from 300,000 to $2 million. That is all tax-free growth. So as you downsize from your $2 million property down to your $1 million property, yes, it's a million dollars in your pocket tax-free, but what do you do with that million dollars? It's going to fund your retirement now, but in the meantime, if you're clipping four or 5% dividend yield on that, that's 40 to $50,000 of taxable income every single year. Could claw back your old age security. So you need to make sure you have a plan for that cash. But in the meantime, as you strategize for your retirement, your principal residence is a great investment tool to save and build wealth for your retirement years. The fifth and final tip, and this is for everyone, no matter what your age and stage and situation is, the fifth final tip I have for you to save for retirement is to have a side hustle. So many people that get to retirement in a good spot, get there early, they have a side hustle. And I don't necessarily mean a second job to put food on the table. I mean a side hustle. So I'll give you an example. You may be a firefighter. Firefighters are very notorious for having a side hustle whether it's a construction, I know one that's an RMT on the side, they're doing something else to generate extra revenue. That extra revenue goes in a side pocket, typically your TFSA account builds up, builds more wealth, wealth and gets you to retirement quicker. Doesn't matter what you do, many of us have skills that we can utilize outside of our everyday job that will generate more revenue. So take a step back and figure out like, what kind of skill sets do I have? What could I do extra to make an extra few hundred bucks a month, a few thousand dollars a year. When we start investing that and compounding that over time, it can make a big, big difference. And for many of you, you're gonna take that side hustle and that might be your part-time job or your hobby in retirement. So it's something that you start before, it gets you to retirement earlier and you continue it through retirement. Again, it keeps you busy, keeps your mind going, but it utilizes your resources, your giftings, your knowledge to further those around you and also, again, build that nest egg for retirement. So as many of you start to think about retirement or maybe you're getting closer to retirement and you wanna figure out like, how do I strategize this properly? Make sure you're utilizing all five of these resources and strategies that I've talked about today. They are all very important. Lost of strategy around building up for retirement. There's even more strategy around drawing down the decumulation in retirement. We'll do a future video on that, but if you need help with that decumulation phase of retirement, 
check out our website, parallelwealth.com slash planning. We do offer fee-for-service retirement planning, more of a consulting service where we grab your information and map out a GPS for you for retirement. How do you live through retirement in the most efficient way to pay the least amount of tax, put the most amount of money back in your pocket? Where do you get your money from? How do you have a go-go phase of retirement where you actually have more money earlier and less later? That makes sense. That's how you're going to spend money. So you need a proper plan around that. If you need help with that, check out our website, reach out to our office. We'd love to help you out with that. See you in the next video.